Okay, so for this strategy, we're going to make a board game that kids can play just to make any old worksheet more fun to complete. And so what you're going to need is your starter file that you can download right on the blog. And um, you are going to need slide 25. So I'm going to first make a copy so I don't mess up the original. I'll call it 4.2a board game. Okay, so now here is my board game file and I'm gonna delete all the slides that I'm not gonna use, which is almost all of them. So delete all of those. Okay, all we have left is the board game. And so how it works, it's just like a regular old board game except for the pieces are movable. When kids need to roll the dice, they'll click here and in a new tab. Um, a digital dice roller will pop up. So that's how they're gonna know how many spaces to move. And the questions are going to come from your work. So there are a couple of different options. You can link to a PDF of questions or you can insert a new slide and put your questions right on that. So I'm gonna show you, let's see, a new slide. And I'm just gonna delete this stuff and I'm gonna insert an image, so I'm gonna get it from my drive. And again, I used my cam scanner app that was on my phone to take a picture of, um, to take a picture of the file and then I uploaded it straight to my Google Drive. I did make sure that I saved it as a image file, a JPEG instead of a PDF. So there are the questions. You can make them bigger, um, the kids can always zoom in to see them. And the other option is instead of doing it that way, you can literally just link to the questions. So I'm gonna go to my Google Drive and find those questions, and I'm going to get the shareable link. Oops, it always pops over to the front when you start messing with it if you have it sorted by date. So be careful about that. Um, let's see, get shareable link. Alrighty. Now I'm going to just link it. Okay, so now for this strategy, when kids are playing the game, when they want the question, they just click it, it'll pop up in a new tab, and they can easily toggle back and forth between the two tabs. They can also zoom in um, so they can see it better or anything like that. Okay, so when the kids play, basically how I have them play, is I just let them pick a question and solve it. And if they are correct, they get to move. If not, they don't get to move. And so it makes something that's not quite as fun, a little bit more fun because you're adding a level of competition to it. And digital board games are amazing because you don't need any pieces. You don't need pawns, you don't need dice, and everyone can play at the same time because you don't need, well, you have unlimited board games through the magic of Google. So when you're ready to share this with your students, you're just gonna go straight into your Google Classroom, create an assignment. You're going to um, to a board game, name it, get it from your drive. There it is. And then again, make sure that you give all of the students their own copy and then click assign. And that's it. So the students can practice their skills in a more fun way. And you've used technology to enhance your lesson. So the next strategy I'm going to be showing you is how you can really redefine how you can teach by replicating yourself and meeting the exact needs of your students. So stay tuned for that.